of the questions I get asked quite often are what strings I use, both the brand and of course the gauge, the size. So I'm going to share that with you for all of my guitars and in both the studio and of course playing live, both metal shows and my acoustic shows. We're going to cover that and I'm also going to talk about the picks I use. I'll save the guitar picks for the end of the video because that just recently changed, which is kind of an interesting backstory behind that and I, I still don't understand it, but we'll get to that later. So we'll start with the guitar that I play the most. You guys are very familiar with this guitar here. This is my Ibanez Prestige RG1570. Uh, this is in my hands most of the time I'm playing guitar. So what strings do I use? Well, as you can see, I just picked up a three pack of the Elixir Nano Webs. Okay, these are the Nano Webs and they are the Super Lights, the 9 through 42. Now, it's important to note that I am in standard tuning, well, really all of the time. I think I've done probably two or three videos where I tried different tunings. I think one was in C sharp, which is a cool tuning. I think I did another video on playing in E flat. I accidentally tuned my guitar to E flat one time because I screwed up the Floyd. You guys know how that can happen. Uh, but in any case though, I'm in, in standard tuning really like 99.9% .9 of the time. That's just my preference. So I actually use those strings. Again, the elixirs here, um, nano webs, super lights. Of course, they're the coated strings. I know not everyone likes coated strings. I get that. I've had some people say they don't like elixirs or any coated strings, but I think this company has like, I think it's called Polyweb or something like that that feels more natural. I like these and guys, I'm not sponsored by elixirs. Uh, I've never even like reached out to them or anything. So this is just what I've been using for decades. Now I use those same exact strings, the super lights, nano webs, elixirs uh, on my Telecaster here, which you saw this earlier. So this is just a Fender Tele. Good old American Telecaster. American! You guys know I bought this from a friend of mine, Brian Ray, who also plays with the Southern Creek Band. He goes by Brian Ray as his uh, solo act. But he sold this to me. I, I think I played it at my live shows for uh, probably a year before I finally handed him the cash for it. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll buy this thing from you now. It's a cool guitar, but this is what I primarily play for my live solo gigs. Those gigs are mainly acoustic, uh, but you guys know I use a looper pedal. I'll loop a rhythm and then I'll pick up the telly and play some solos over it, kind of like this right here. Now, these strings, I've had these strings on this guitar for probably too long. Seriously, um, I'm filming this, what month are we in? I think we're in April 2024, beginning of April here. And I actually changed strings on this guitar, I think it was before we went to Thailand, and that was like October 2023 or something like that. So I'm probably going to change these strings this week. But honestly, guys, and you just heard it, I mean, it, it sounds sounds pretty good. I mean, the strings, they still play really, really well. And that's the primary reason I use Elixir strings. I like the coating. I like the tone and all that good stuff. I know I probably sound like a sales rep, but I mean, again, I'm not sponsored by them. I've just been using these strings for literally decades now. I don't know when I started, but I know it's probably been 15, maybe 20 years or something like that. Now, before we move on to the picks I use, there they are. Anyway, before we get to these, let me quickly share the strings I use for acoustic. Send me an angel. Send me an angel. Right now. Right now. I am using the Elixir Nano Webs. Now, these are the custom lights. They're not the super lights. I think the super lights start at 10, but this uh, this is the 11 through 52 here, custom lights. Uh, and this is the Phosphor Bronze Nano Web. So I've been using these strings for acoustic probably the same amount of time. What's important to note is I play two to three live acoustic shows each week. Uh, this has kind of been a big part of my music career. You know, I'm in here working on YouTube, doing things with my own music, with the guitar courses I have out there, as you guys know, on MetalMastermind.com. 
Uh, but a big part of what I do also is playing live music. I love playing live. So the strings are super important to me in that regard because first of all, I don't wanna have to change strings that often. I mean, yeah, you're playing live, so I have to change these a little bit more often than if I just sat in the room and played, right? And I would say I probably change my acoustic strings, I would say safely about once a month, probably once every couple of months in the wintertime. But in the summertime, I live in Florida in the Tampa Bay area, and it gets pretty humid, so I make sure to change my strings probably once a month, maybe every three weeks, depending on how many shows were outside versus indoor. I think half of my shows are outside. But yeah, this is what I use for my acoustic. We've got a guitar pick from Siren. We've got Brad Mater from Must Not Kill, a cool hard rock pick, a couple replay guitar exchange picks, and we've got the Museum of Metal. Actually, that's by Dave Allison, Death Metal Dave. I actually don't use any of those picks. Those are just there for show. They're pretty cool. But what I'm using today, and I'll share the short backstory, I'm mainly using this one. I gotta find it now, all the picks on my desk here. I use the Dunlop Max Grip. 1.0 so that's what i'm using right now and i actually just changed to this a couple of weeks ago so quick backstory when i first started playing guitar back in 1989 uh, and then when i got my first electric in 1990 i remember using point 60 that's what i use religiously for like decades and i'm pretty sure there are probably dunlop picks i probably use some other picks some other brands as well but the point 60 was always my go-to it wasn't until probably Four or five years ago, I started messing around with .88 and .73. I actually got some snarling dog brain picks. I think that's what they're called, a .73. And I used that for a long time, and I would alternate that with a Dunlop Max Grip .88. This one, I think I've got one on here. Yeah, right here. Looks similar to the one I just showed you, the 1.0. But I started playing with the Dunlop Max Grip .88s and I stuck with this for, again, about four or five years. And just recently I changed to the one millimeter pick. I'm still not quite sure what prompted this change for whatever reason. I had these picks that a friend of mine gave to me. They're just regular Dunlop picks. This is a one millimeter. This is a 1.5. And I just started messing around with these picks and I'm like, okay, well, I, I seem to be playing a little bit better, especially with things like sweet picking. <laughs> A lot of people that are really really great at that you know sweep arpeggios and that technique i think they tend to play with thicker picks because they don't bend as much so you get a little bit more precision out of that so i didn't really care so much for the 1.5 I, i'd like it sometimes and sometimes i didn't but the 1.0 seemed to be the thing however i was missing my grips again a friend of mine gave these to me a long long time ago i think mike olson sent these to me so mike thank you and i didn't really care for them at the time i'm like nope i'm sticking with my 0.88 so that prompted me to purchase the 1.0 and 1.5 of the dunlop max grip version here i like the max grips as you can see this is the 1.5 you've got grips on both sides of the pick. And I've never really been one to drop my pick, but because I've been so used to having that extra grip on both sides, if I play with a pick without it, it just feels weird. Sometimes you just find something that works really well for you, and you know I always encourage you just to go with that. Uh, but I tend to like the 1.0 a lot better, this one right here. And again, that's the Dunlop Max Grip. So that's primarily what I've been playing with. Now, as far as acoustic, so we're talking electric here. I actually played with this pick last night when I was hosting open mic at Bootleggers Brewing in Tampa. And by the way, I've, I've met so many of you at open mic and at my live acoustic gigs. And guys, I so appreciate you guys coming up to me. That's so awesome to meet you guys in person. It's just, um, it's just a very cool experience. Of course, I met a few of you for the first time at the metal show I played at a couple of months ago. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Thank you guys so much. It is such an honor to meet you guys. But yeah, using this, so for acoustic, I'm still probably going to use the point 88. It just seems to be a little bit better. I mean, the 1.0 was fine last night on acoustic, but I think I'm more comfortable with the point 88 for acoustic. Uh, so just a quick recap, okay? So for electric guitar, 
I am using the Elixir Nano Webs, the strings, uh, the 9 through 42. These are the super light Elixir Nano Webs, super lights. Okay, that's for all of my electrics. Uh, the seven string, pretty much the same version of that. For acoustic, I am using the Elixir Nano Webs custom lights, the bronze, phosphor bronze custom lights, 11 through 52. For picks, electric guitar, I'm primarily using the Dunlop Max Grip 1.0. That's what I'm using for pretty much all my electrics for in the studio, my Ibanez, my Tele, whether it's playing metal live or playing my acoustic shows live uh, when I pick up the electric. On that note, for acoustic guitar, I'm probably going to stick with the .88, the Dunlop Max Grip .88. Now, one quick thing I want to point out, just because I use these strings or these picks or whatever, it doesn't mean that you should or shouldn't. I just want to reiterate that. I want you to choose what fits you the best, and only you know that. You know, I put stuff out there like this because maybe it will give you some ideas. Maybe you're like, well, I've been looking for something a little different. What I'm using is just not quite working as good for me. So maybe this video helps you in that regard and sometimes people just want to know what you're using I love to know what picks and strings that maybe you use so hey drop those in the comments and if you're gonna put that please just put a quick uh, description of why you use those strings and picks it's cool to read that it's cool to know why you use certain things uh, sometimes we just use stuff because it works for us and that's just the simple answer and that's of course, the answer in my case, these strings and these picks, they just work really well for me. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and it helped you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And guys, as always, keep it metal. More importantly, keep playing music.